Okay, so we're back in Blender. Now, depending on how your workflow is, you maybe don't need to put any textures on. Maybe you're gonna paint, you're gonna paint completely over the top of it. But um, maybe you wanna put some textures on it. Uh, so here I am importing that OBJ into Blender. Now it might come in, uh, it'll probably come in quite big. So uh, yeah, we're actually inside the rock here. So I'm gonna zoom out and uh, I'm gonna check it. I'm actually gonna see how big the object is in a moment. When I realize what I'm doing wrong, I've got to select the object, go to item, and I can see the scale and it's really, it's huge. Uh, maybe it needs to be that big, maybe it doesn't. I think mine should be a bit smaller. So I'm gonna shrink it down, the rock size down, to a sort of scale that feels um, appropriate. And then I'm gonna freeze the scales. Uh, and we can see at the moment that um, there's all the mesh. It is still quite dense. Um, we're going to further decimate it in a bit in Blender as well, just to make that kind of model even lighter. But first of all, there's two ways of doing textures. Well, there's multiple ways of doing textures. Here is the absolute easy way. Just use a pre-made texture. Uh, Polyhaven's excellent for this. They've got a really, really good set of textures that come in Blender format. So they come with all the actual texture maps applied to a Blender material that you can just append to your uh, your scene and then apply to your object. Um, the, the biggest trouble I have here is deciding which rock texture I want to use. It takes me ages to decide which one. Come on, Ant, you can do it. Yeah, that one. Rock Boulder Dry. So you can click it, you can have a quick look at it, and then you can uh, download it just here. Uh, if you're using Maya, you can also download uh, the image formats, uh, the image files themselves, if you want to, and you can reconstruct that in Maya, same with Max. But obviously, Blender is pretty easy, uh, and this will actually just download a Blender, well, just download a archive that has the textures and a Blender file in it. So uh, there you go, you can see a little subfolder. Um, you can set those and then extract them. I've got on my external hard drive, I've got a little subfolder only for Polyhaven textures. And so I just dump everything in there and it will put the textures into the right place, etc., etc. Right, back into Blender. How to get the textures on there. Right, go to File, Append. Now browse to where you extracted that, uh, that Blender material, Rock Boulder Dry and append that. Now it's going to move into a subfolder. You go into materials and find that material and click append. Now we can open up a shader graph, select our rock object, which has kind of got like a default material on it already. And we can just do that little drop down and we can find our, uh, our polyhaven material that we've just created. And that will just automatically apply it. I can switch to material preview mode and there we go. Now it's, at the moment, it's applying that polyhaven material using the UVs that 3D Coat generated, uh, which is great, which is fine, but sometimes you don't have UVs or you don't want to be bothered with them. We want to have, have a slightly different look. Well, just switch it to generated and then switch each one of these file option boxes from flat to box. And this will do very simple box mapping, uh, which just, just means the textures are sort of projected from an imaginary box that surrounds the object. And to give ourselves a little bit more control, I'm going to go to Shift A and then S and then type in value and then drop this value node into the scale of the uh, UV mapping. And now I can just use this value node to control how much, how big or how smooth, how small uh, that texture detail is. And I haven't had to well, the only thing I've had to connect is the value node. Everything else has been done automatically for me. Let's check it out with EV. Uh, let's go to the light and switch sun on so we can get a look at it like that. Reduce the intensity a bit. And here we go. Perfectly acceptable uh, textures. And we just downloaded it off of Polyhaven. So it's really, really useful. Very, very easy way to do it. 